All right. Well, welcome back, and we're going to go through another free response question. And this free response question is going to be the 2012 um, A B free response questions. Um, you can find this problem online, also answered, but um, maybe not the worked out solution. So I'm going to work this through step by step with you. Um, it's very important that you understand how to do table. All right, chart problems like this because they're always on the AP test, either in the calculator section or the not getting calculator section. Um, even when we had to take it uh, this past year, uh, where it was all for response questions, obviously they're probably going to put um, a a table in there because uh, it's just a really great problem to help understand approximations and whether or not um, you can do so many different problems uh, with it. And so uh, without further ado, let's go through and see what they got in the store in 2012. All right, well, this is the calculator problems. The first problem that you would have seen on the 2012, if you took it then, um, and what you have this table, it says, uh, the temperature of water in a tub at time t is modeled by strictly in, by a strictly increasing twice differentiable function w. Okay, so W is twice differentiable. Um, that means it is continuous because if it's differentiable, it has to be continuous. So W is continuous. All right, just a little added information right there. Where W of T is measured in degrees Fahrenheit and T is measured in minutes. Okay, at time T going zero, the temperature of the water is 55 degrees Celsius. We got that. The water is heated for 30 minutes. All right. Beginning with zero, values of W select the times from zero to 20 minutes or above. So we don't got it from 20 to 30, but we'll see what they have in, they have in store for us here. Okay, so I'm going to break this into one at a time, and here we go. So the first thing says use the data in the table to estimate what W prime of 12 is. Show the computation that leads to your answer using correct units. Interpret the meaning of your answer in the context of this problem. Okay, well what we're looking for is W prime is means we're finding a rate. So in part A. W prime of 12 means we're finding the rate at 12. Well, to approximate what 12 would be, we're going to take the two closest points to that, and we have to find a slope, all right? Because this is finding what's the slope of the curve, all right, at W, all right, um, at T equaling 12, okay, 12 minutes. So to find that slope, um, you didn't have to write this down, but we're just going to figure out that slope. So we're going to use the closest values we have. So this is going to be approximation. So I'm going to put my approximation symbol there. Approximately, we would take W of 15 minus W of 9 and take 15 minus 9 and figure out that way. So um, I would take 67.9 minus 15. Uh, the 9 one, which is 61.8, and then we divide that by 6. All right, there. Okay, and so let's go and put this in. You put this in your calculator, you might be able to figure it out in your own. And you have 67.9 minus 6. Um, 61.8. Don't forget the one there, or you're gonna get a totally wrong answer. So make sure you always know what you plug in there. All right, and if it makes sense. So we have that, and then you divide that by, so we have 6.1 divided by 6. And what you should get is 1 point, all right, approximately 1.01, um, we'll go 7. All right, and what is that? That's going to be, all right, um, degrees Fahrenheit. All right, per, oops, there we go. Here's Fahrenheit, put the wrong value right there. I apologize for that. Uh, degrees Fahrenheit per minute, okay? Degrees Fahrenheit per minute. So um, using correct units, so we have degrees Fahrenheit per minute, and then we have um, interpret the meaning of your answer in the context of the problem. So what do we know? Well, we know that um, the temperature Temperature, all right, at um, time t equaling 12 minutes, all right, um, well, the temperature of, what is that? Temperature of water in the tub, so we probably should add that. Temp the temperature of water in the tub at 12 minutes is increasing. So we want to put that, increasing. And why do we know it's increasing? Because it is positive, all right? So we know the water in the tub is increasing at a rate 
of approximately, approximately, all right, 1.01 degrees Fahrenheit per minute. Okay, and that's what we know. So we're going to say increasing because this is a positive value. So if it would be negative, we would say it would be decreasing at a rate, but that's the key word we want to have in here when we're looking at these rates. So rates tell us if it's going to be increasing and decreasing from there. All right, well, let's try the next one. The next one says um, use the data table to evaluate the integral from 0 to 20 of W prime of T dt. Using correct units, interpret the meaning of the integral from 0 to t to, uh, 0 to 20 of W t dt in the context of the problem. So what are we doing here? Well, it, we are integrating, we are integrating, all right, from 0 to 20 of W prime of t. Now, when you talk about integration, integration breaks down the integrand and goes in reverse, okay? And since this is saying we are integrating from 0 to 20 of W prime of t dt, what is the antiderivative of W prime? Well, the antiderivative of W prime, that's what we always think about, is going to be W of t, all right? W of t. And from here, we're going to use a fundamental theorem of calculus, all right? And this is using the fundamental theorem of calculus because the integral of a derivative will equal the original value. So integrate the derivative, we get the original value. So we're actually getting W of t. And we're going to take this, and the fundamental theorem states we take the upper limit, with plug that upper limit into the antiderivative, and then we plug in the all right lower limit into the antiderivative as well. So just so you can see, that is a 20. That should be a 20 right there. All right. Minus, um, that is a zero. So what is that? Well, do we have that value? Well, yes, we do. We have 71 minus 55. Okay, and we'll plug that in there. 71 minus 55. And when you get that, you should get 16. So 16, and what do we have? Well, W is in degrees Fahrenheit, so we just have degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and what do we find here? Well, this is the difference. Okay, is the difference, all right, because we have to now interpret this, okay, um, using the correct, interpret the meaning of this. So the integral from 0 to 20 of W prime of T dt gives us the, all right, um, gives us the change in temperature, in temperature, temperature in degrees Fahrenheit um, from 0 to 20 minutes. All right. It's a change in the in the tub of water. I should add that. To water temperature, degrees Fahrenheit from 0 to 20 minutes. And there we go. That makes sense. Yeah, because that's what we found. The difference between 20 to 0, 71 to 55 is 16. So this is the change in temperature in the tub from 0 to 20 minutes. That's all we got if you would integrate this value right there. Okay. Well, I hope this makes sense. Um, using in all the different things that AP does this a lot, I'm going to finish the next two problems in the next video. So hopefully this helps you out um, in understanding how to use tables with uh, integrals and also using with derivatives and also interpreting.